Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be practicing speaking with VOA. Let's start. In the Tokyo Games, there are several new Olympic sports. Karate, skateboarding, sport climbing, surfing, and baseball for men and softball for women. Baseball and softball are actually not new. The two sports have returned to Tokyo after some years away from the games. In lesson, we'll look at the verbs and nouns that you hear from broadcasters and read in publications. Hopefully, it'll help you understand what they're talking about. Let us begin with baseball. A player who starts a game by throwing a baseball is called a pitcher. The pitcher will throw or pitch to an opposing batter who stands at the home plate ready to hit with the bat. In the at bat, if the batter swings and misses, it is called a strike. If the batter hits the ball cleanly and reaches a base, it is called a hit, as in Dave got a hit in his first at bat. But a hit does not give the team a point or a run in baseball. A batter, now called a runner, has to be able to move up, touch all three bases, and return to home plate to score a run. Softball is similar to baseball. But the sport is usually played by women. On Monday, American player Kelsey Stewart hit a softball out of the ballpark for a home run to win the game 2-1. You probably heard the announcer said, Kelsey Stewart hits a walk-off home run for the United States. Well, it is called a walk-off when a player scores a run at the bottom of the final inning to win a game. However, Japan turned a double play in the final game on Tuesday to win the gold medal over U.S. With two runners on first and second bases, the American player hit the hole hard. The ball bounced off a Japanese player and was caught by Mana Atsumi in the air for the first out. Atsumi then threw the ball to the second base to get a second out for a double play. There are two different karate competitions in Tokyo called Kata and Kumite. Kata is a one-person event in which competitors perform offensive and offensive movements against a virtual opponent. Judges award points based on strength, speed, rhythm, and balance. In Kumite, two competitors fight for three minutes or until one has collected eight more points than the other. A punch to the head or body scores one point. A kick to the body gets two points, and a high kick to the head gains three. You may hear this while watching a fight. The Sech Karateka landed a punch to the head, scoring a Yuko. Karateka is a Japanese word for karate competitor. And you should know what Yuko is. Have you ever tried skateboarding? There are two kinds of competition street and park. In the park event, Skateboarders launch themselves in the air from an area that looks like an empty swimming pool. They receive points for performing tricks like jumping and turning in the air. In 
in street skateboarding. Competitors perform tricks on things you might find on a street, such as stairs, benches, and railings. This is one sport that definitely attracts younger people to the games. To 13-year-olds, Momiji Nishiya of Japan and Risa Leo of Brazil won the gold and silver medal street skateboarding earlier this week. As Nishia skated to the gold on Monday, you might have heard the announcer say, if she could put down your, her single tricks from Coke, she does it. Massive score coming her way. Sport climbing is a new sport to the Olympics. The three things that climber must do, speed, bouldering, and lead. In speed, two climbers go up a 15 meter high wall. The men's winner usually takes it within five and six seconds. In bouldering, competitors climb a several fixed routes on a 4.5 meter wall within four minutes. In the lead event, climbers attempt to move up as high as possible on a wall measuring over 15 meters in height within six minutes. Scores from all three events are gathered to get the final result. When a climber reaches the top of the wall, you might hear an announcer say, Alex Johnson has topped the women's problem one. Surfing competition took place in the ocean, where athletes had to deal with the waves, wind direction, and the changing conditions of nature. In Tokyo Games, each surfer is given about 30 minutes to ride up to 25 waves. A surfer performs a range of difficult movements on the waves, each with a special name. One of the turns is called the cutback. It returns to the surfer into an earlier position of the wave. The surfer attacks the wave and then drops into it. Here is an how an announcer spoke about surfing of American gold medal winner, Carissa Moore. Carissa Moore drops in here. Beautiful arcing cutback. Beautiful surfing. We hope you enjoy watching all of the Olympic Games this year and feel more confident as you talk about these new sports in English. And that's Everyday Grammar. Thank you guys for listening. In the next video, I'll continue practice speaking, but next time it'll be with Harvard Business Review. Thanks for watching. Bye.